back in the R&D shop for the Extreme Urban Express. I wanted to clarify some things I've discovered on the uh, reads for the NC50 and the NU50, the Urban Express. This is a set of cases from a two-speed NC50. Year is unknown. These small ones on the right side here are for the NC50. They came with this motor. They fit on here. Drop right in. As you can see, they blow down back towards the back of the crankshaft. They have a thin profile. Rubber gaskets sit on there. These are the gaskets, or the gasket. These are the reeds for the Urban Express. You see, they actually have a profile where they drop into the case. They're actually bigger. Uh, these reeds will not fit in this NC case where they drop in the urban and they're plenty big and they shake around. This one you can see actually does not fit. It sits up, needs to have the cases opened up to make it fit. And you can see that they blow forward in the direction in the direction of the crankshaft, they blow forward. This is the original modification I did to the Urban Express, the Extreme. I made this block uh, to adapt a Yamaha 70's vintage CT100 four reed manifold. It's a little guy. The reeds aren't real big. You can see in comparison to the Urban Express, the standard one, that they're, they're bigger. There's more surface area, but they aren't real huge. And this is a block I came up with to adapt it. Now, it is not ideal the way it sits in there. It's a little off, but that's what I had to do to get it to work. You see. This is my new block for the CT. Uh, had to make it out of steel because I can't weld aluminum. And I didn't want to try to machine it due to the complexity of the bolt pattern. And the larger size, I didn't want to attempt to do it like I did this one with the multiple holes. You can see how close they had to be. So, this is the one for the CT. Nice big four reed. Drops right in the case on the NC. And it also drops on the Urban Express. Uh, this is the spigot piece. I haven't finished it yet. I think I got the direction set up right, so that should be good. Anyway, so I hope that clears it up for everybody that's interested in the reed valves and their applicability to the different Hondas. Anything earlier than the two-speed, I don't know about. I've never owned one. I don't have anything to judge by. But this is what I do know and what I have. I thought I'd share it with you.